Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Hot Tag, hashtag Hot Tag, where we look at what you as wrestling fans have trended on Twitter from the past week. Damian Nelson sitting here alongside David Hero and the lovely Linda Kay. We are on the road to WrestleMania. Right. We are one week away from the Pro Wrestling Report Hall of Fame induction ceremony. King Kong Bundy, action smash with demolition, hosted by Armando Estrada in Hotel Pennsylvania, the Sky Top Ballroom. Wait, what do you call that? Penthouse again? level. It's the Hotel Motel ha, ha, Hotel Pen. <laughs> That's what it's called. Uh, no, I, I, I need It's no Good peep. Friday. It's you Easter need a weekend. Peep. What's so good about today? It's a great day. It's Good Friday. Hmm. I don't understand. Anyways, at PWR Show on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, this week's topic, a topic we talked about a little bit this past Wednesday night in primetime as well, is John Cena. A lot of people talking about this potential heel turn and whether or not he did something on Monday that indicates that that turn is imminent. Well, let's go to some of the tweets to kick things off and how this all started getting talked about. Uh, and first, let's go to a tweet that came from Lance Storm. And many of you, of course, remember Lance Storm from his days in many wrestling organizations where he said, uh, while this is not an exciting segment, referencing the segment between The Rock and John Cena, I like serious, all business John Cena. This is working for me. Uh, this one comes from at all things Cena. Wonder who they're a fan of. Uh, the fire in John Cena's eye was amazing. You can tell he meant absolutely every word he said. Wow. That's uh, another tweet coming in there. And uh, finally, this one comes from uh, at Mike Chiari, who says passionate promo on Raw still won't lead to John Cena heel turn at WrestleMania 29. So. This had been talked about heavily last year. It has been pushed away ever since then. Now it's back in the forefront of things due to John Cena's behavior this past Monday night on Raw. Linda, you're a John Cena fan, obviously. You are part of the Senation. Do you have red, green, purple, and blue? Or which color schemes of the, the, the Cena gear do you have? Got the green. The green? Lucky, lucky green. Sounds good, sounds good. Well, David. Yes. Talked a little about this on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Now hearing what some of the universe is saying, if you will. What do you have to say about the potential of John Cena turning to a bad guy at WrestleMania? Well, it, it, it could happen. Do I think it will happen? Probably not. It's the same thing that I said on Wednesday. They're, he makes too much money for the company. You already lost a certain fan base with CM Punk. You can't lose that family demographic of John Cena. John Cena's not going to trade in the t-shirt, the wristbands, the headbands, and the baseball cap for one t-shirt sold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And all the make-a-wish stuff he does. I mean, he's just too much of a entity that way. Tease it. It's making people talk about it. You know what? And yes, he may be frustrated. It may bring out a better John Cena for his match with The Rock. So when he does beat The Rock at WrestleMania... It's because he didn't leave anything out there. When he does, is that a bold prediction? Well, we're not at that point yet. It's an honest prediction. Huh. Uh, Linda Kay, what struck you about John Cena's demeanor and his presentation Monday night? Did you feel that he was going to the dark side, if you will? As much as I would like to see that, I'd, I'd like a change in Cena. You know, he's good as a, I mean, great as a good guy, but, yeah. um, you know, the way he was <clears throat> speaking and his tone and just the look in his eyes, do I think he's going to turn heel right away? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that he's showing a different side to everybody, perhaps trying to gain some more fans from those who aren't taking him as serious anymore. So you're saying he will not turn heel at WrestleMania? No, I don't think so. I think he'd be a terrible heel. Really? Really? Absolutely. Never been really a heel. I think, he, yeah, he wouldn't be good. But I have a quick question about the, the, with the t-shirt sales and the merch, do you think? I mean, obviously, as a good guy, he'd be selling a lot more, but you don't think he would still a be a good heel? A is only... Heel? as good as a strong baby face. And there aren't any strong baby faces for John Cena to, to, to have a feud with right now. The question I think that needs to be asked though is you look back to big name stars who did turn heel at some point in their career. Hulk Hogan being on the top of that list. Stone Cold Steve Austin back in And that was an abysmal failure when Austin did was it. Was it? Oh, when I, Austin did it. Yes. But was it because it led to the what shirts and it led to a lot more merchandise that <laughs> can't say whether they would have lost out but, on that or not but, if they had but done it. the fans weren't booing steve austin they were not so but his yeah. character evolved in such a way that he remained relevant he became more comedic 
the guitar playing with mm -hmm. Kurt Angle and such. Uh, but obviously with Hulk Hogan, it worked tremendously. But Austin had The Rock to work with. Who does John Cena have to work with? Ryback? No. Sheamus? No. Randy Orton? No. I had a big prediction on Randy Orton. We talk about that in Be the Booker next week as part mm -hmm. of our marathon coverage of WrestleMania. Okay. I had a big prediction there. I can't wait to hear your big prediction. So yes or no, WrestleMania 29, does John Cena turn heel, David Hero, in your mm -hmm. opinion? He's going to be booed, but he will do something dastardly, but I think it's because he needs to win. No, no, because he needs to beat, he needs to drive the stake into the Rock's heart to beat him. So when he sees the opening, whatever it may be, where he needs to do that to beat him, he's going to do it this time. There will not be any sign of weakness with John Cena. Name a match we saw that happen in recently. We did see something like that. Babyface just did what he had to do. It might have been Punk, as a matter of fact. I think it was Punk. Well, at PWR Show on Twitter is where you can follow us, and you never know what you're talking about on Twitter. could end up being our topic for Hot Tag. Now, next week, next Friday night, Hot Tag, we're going to be emanating from Manhattan. We're going to be on the streets yes, of New sir. York and uh, bringing you Hot Tag, hashtag Hot Tag, which I'm sure oh, will be more goodness. talk about WrestleMania. You on the streets of Manhattan with Linda. That'll be fine. I'm Let all we'll bad. Be fine. Yeah. Well, for Linda Kay and that one, this is Damian Nelson this saying thank you so much for tuning in to this week's edition of Hashtag Hot Tag. We'll see you tomorrow night for prime time Saturday night with Big Sexy Kevin Nash talking Brock Lesnar and Triple H at WrestleMania. Hey, Farewell. Ja.